But when Kate yesterday gave her interview, and I don't want people to think badly of me or I'm going soft. It was a statement. But it made it? me cry. Mm. Yeah, it was a statement. I, it made me cry. I, I have to say I was very... And I saw you shed a tear or two earlier. But what a, a, a situation she's been harassed and slagged off by so many people in the media uh, that she felt she had to come and say what she said. And let me tell you, it's difficult being diagnosed with cancer, very difficult. But being diagnosed with cancer when you have very young children mm. and you have to consider them, it and must And the world's be, spotlight on you as well. It must be even worse. Do you think the media will give her a chance now or not? I think the media will, but I unfortunately think that there are certain, uh, I mean, there's there's the gutter of the internet that have mm. become addicted to the attention that they've received based on uh, the Kate conspiracies. And I do believe there are going to be some people that have absolutely <clears throat> no moral compass whatsoever that continue to stir the pot online. And the media needs to be bigger and better moving forward. and not allow social media to dictate the conversation. Do they do it for monetary reasons or do they do it just because they're horrible, you know, trollers? Or well, is it both? I think both it's both bad, because... Yeah. But I think it's both because TikTok will pay you. Mm. I mean, YouTube and TikTok pays you per view, per and hit. Twitter engagement. does as well now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So Why I aren't think we making it, but, any money? No, no, that's someone else gets. The Twitter, the Twitter CEO did come out and say we needed to give um, the Princess of Wales privacy. Mm. So at least that is one, um, yeah. you know, social media yeah. company that has made so, some sort of stance about it. Yeah. Um, but uh, otherwise, you know, I do think that the media will be kind moving forward. We're still going to have to deal with some of those horrific people online, and we need to have the discipline to ignore them to not engage, and hopefully they'll go away. Did you have any inkling, because not many people in the uh, in the world of the media knew anything about it over here, but had you heard rumours before she came out and made her statement? Um, I had not heard about cancer, but I had heard from people in the neighbourhood that one, if and when she came out to tell us the truth, that the punchline she had become in the United States, a lot of those people were going to feel really guilty about the way that they had treated her. So I, I did, I'm going to be honest, I did not know it was cancer. Is it mainly driven? Because I got the feeling it never used to happen in this country. Is it being driven from the States? A lot of this because they're so I really fanatical feel, I about. absolutely feel that. Mm. I absolutely feel that it's been driven from the States. You know, analytically, she is the most popular member of the royal family mm. here in the United States. Um, it's that she is beautiful. It's that she just kind of radiates goodness. She's become the new Diana, um, I think. She's replaced, She's actually becoming the yeah. Diana, isn't she? I Completely. And uh, so I do believe that the, uh, you know... The, the I, I've heard them referred to as mommy bloggers. I think that's a little mean, but you know, the, the people that don't have nine to fives, the people that aren't busy sitting on the internet, stirring the pot. Uh, uh, and I really felt like the majority of the chaos online was coming from American mm. people. Uh, much, much, I, I did not see a lot of people uh, um, from your neck of the woods that were engaging in this conversation. But I did have to answer questions about their relationship status and things like that on, in, mm. on, Canadian television and Australian television, which I thought was ludicrous. Mm. Mm. I don't. I don't think people realise how difficult it must be to live their life like they are. Uh, not only in in the UK, but all across the world. Many, many it's goldfish countries, bowl, isn't it? Yeah. You know, and it must be so difficult. Uh, and William is an amazing bloke. I mean, his dad has been uh, diagnosed with cancer and now his wife. And the Queen and Prince Philip, his grandparents both died and he's yeah. not talking to his brother. What's going to happen with Harry and Meghan, do you think, with this? Because they've reached out and is there going to be any uh, olive branches? Well, really quickly, I'd also like to remind you guys that Fergie has cancer. I mean... Yeah, no, you're yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. And we all have a like, soft spot for Fergie yeah. in this country. Yeah, <laughs> yeah who I mean, doesn't? Does it, has this helped the royal family, do you think? I mean, I mean that in a... So I'm trying to make a positive point, but um, has it kind of uh, made people realise that they're a family and, you know, you might say, oh, he's the future king and uh, she's the future queen, why should we feel sorry for them? Well, let me tell you, if you get diagnosed with cancer, and I hope you don't, but one in two of us do, um, it will come as quite a shock and it will be difficult to sort your life out. 
let alone in front of the audience of the whole world. I do think, though, I do think that, you know, my uncle died of cancer last year and he has two little girls and he's a, a few years older than me. He was like an older brother to me. Mm. And throughout the process of chemo, he talked about how suicidal it made him, you know, just mm. how traumatic that experience was. So, you know, I, I do think that pe everybody's been affected by cancer. Um, everybody knows how hard it can be and i i do think that people are going to sympathize and, and and pray for the best because they know how negatively it's affected their own lives in some way shape or form where do we go from here do we now hope that the media i mean you're, you're a royal commentator and not only a royal commentator you're uh, you're um, an expert on the life of diana uh, which, strange as you've just said, uh, Kate is kind of following down that path where mm. she can't move or couldn't move without the paparazzi being somewhere around. And I hope now they will realise going through chemo, very, very difficult. And uh, she needs time to be on her own to rest and relax. Mm. Um, do you think it's going to be OK? I mean, that's a heavy question. I don't think any of us saw the last three months um, on the horizon. The, Christmas was such a, a, a bright spot. Um, seeing them all at Sandringham united, uh, I thought it really was such a good, uh, I don't know, premonition for what the, the next year was to hold. I hope we're more respect. I hope we give the Princess of Wales the respect we've given the King going forward. Uh, I do think that, you know, she's active. She's mm. working behind the scenes, responding to emails uh, and things like that. I think she's contributing as much as she can. So we will get regular updates about things like the early years projects. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully that will settle people down. Kinsey, thank you very much thank indeed. Uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Nice I'm to sure. see you.